We're not emotionally and intellectually ready for self-driving cars. I'll tell you why. Right now, we lose 35,000. Last year, was 40,000 people to automobile accidents in the United States alone. That's an entire baseball stadium's worth of people every year. Self-driving cars can drop that, let's say initially, from 35,000 to 5,000. Well, how did the 5,000 die? Oh, bugs in the software where there was driving towards a sunset, it thought it was a traffic light, and moved forward, and it mowed over people. So, auto driving killed 6,000 people. Well, how about the, the 29,000 other people that didn't die? Is yeah. anyone writing an article yeah, yeah. about I'm, I'm, the undead people, the non-dead people? So, we have yeah. to get through that, is my point. Yeah. And one thing is for sure, you investigate every one of those, as the FAA does with plane accidents. And then you say, oh, here's why that happened. Let's recode it, upload the new software, and all cars in the world will now not have that uh, repeat that accident. That number will systematically go to zero. We're not emotionally and intellectually ready for self-driving.